All right, everybody, what's going on? Hey, you have made it now two weeks into the 21 days of praying and fasting. And I know that this is day 15 and we're ending on day 21. And one week is seven days, but we actually have eight more days to go starting now. So I know that the math doesn't make sense, but bear with us, bear with me, and we will get there. Okay, so today we are starting a special eight week devotional series ish thing leading from day 15 to day 21 and then one day after. That's why there's eight days. So we're starting off in John chapter 12 verse 23 so if you don't have your bible right now please run and grab that you can press pause i'm not going anywhere run and grab that you you'll want to grab something to write with and something to write on as well okay john chapter 12 verse 23 here we go the hour has come for the son of man to be glorified. The hour has come for the Son of Man to be glorified. Now, what in the world does that mean? Well, this is coming at a time when Jesus was about to enter Jerusalem on what we call today Palm Sunday. And so people would, they placed palm branches on the ground for him to prepare the way for Jesus, the Messiah. And so why this is so important is because Jesus says the hour has come for the Son of Man to be glorified. The hour has come because this was talked about for hundreds and even thousands of years before because this was God's plan to redeem his people, to save them from sin. It was Jesus. And then it says for the Son of Man, that is Jesus, to be glorified. And you're like, wait a minute, wait a minute. I thought Jesus was on his way to death, on his way to being hung on a cross. What in the world does that have to do with being glorified? Well, that's a great question, but it is because he knew that he wasn't going to stay dead. Jesus knew that at the end of the week, even though he had to face persecution and getting beat up and getting spit in his face, he knew that he was going to die and then rise again. And it is in chapter 12 of the book of Hebrews where the Bible says, for the joy set before him, Jesus endured the cross. And that joy, fourth and fifth graders, is you and it's me. Because Jesus knew that once he died and came back to life, that we could have eternal life with him forever. So that is the great news that we are talking about on day 15 and it's only gonna get better. So I hope you guys come back for tomorrow, day 16. We'll be right back here. We can't wait to see you then. Have a great day.